the year 2015, and ah, like my hair is just fucked up today because of the stupid shit that I read. All right, it's the year fucking 2015, and I still hear people that are so fucking ignorant that say that net decking is bad. I don't understand. This is fucking ridiculous to me. I can semi-understand that you live under a rock and you feel that the spread of knowledge and understanding is absolutely horrible for the progression of a game because you feel that whatever starter deck you're playing can compressively make you win the game. I It, it dumbfounds me because people don't want progress. People fear change and i i just i don't understand you know i was reading through some comments on facebook there was this guy he was just sitting here he's like i think net decking is bad because i lose because people net deck all the other decks i'm sorry maybe you should be reading on the internet and taking you know a couple minutes out of your day to you know actually better yourself because you're not allowed to bitch if you lose i'm sorry that you're just a compulsive shit player like that's all that's to it. Like, I'm not saying every person that hates net decking is a shit player, but you're doing yourself a disservice at the end of the day by not spreading your own knowledge and not gathering knowledge because you're just being ignorant. Um, it's very ridiculous. And I think it's an insult to the other players in the community when you're just sitting here with, you know, the dunce cap on thinking, you know, you're being bad. Now, this comes into the double decking discussion, which I love talking about. So if you guys don't know what Def Pro is, it's an online dueling simulator. Um, tag duels. Um, they call it double decking when two players use the same deck. Um, I don't understand why you wouldn't want optimal results. Why would you not play a deck that combos on your partner's deck? Um, to me, not going for optimal results and saying like oh you're trying to play gemini elf and necros what like you're not gonna do that shit you know like if you're gonna play this game yes there's a fine line between fun and competitive but on the competitive side of the equation you ain't gonna do shit like this now i've seen a dark magician sided and you know guy had a bet with his friend but at the end of the day that's a different story that's just you pulling off something ridiculous in a format that I guess it worked out for you. But to the people that are complaining about the fine line between fun and competitive, like I said, it's an insult to the other people. And it's really frustrating because with how long this game has been out, I figured we would have some real mental progress at this point in the game. Now, pardon me for being one of the hopeful ones here with this community, but it just, it's so bad. The fact that your own ignorance stops you from learning about this game. Eventually, someone will tell you that you know, and then you'll be like, oh, well, shit, that's a good idea. And then, you know, you'll be like, oh, you could have net decked this from someone else and understood the concept. Um, I understand that you want to be one of the people that's somewhat original, and I can respect that to a degree. But if you're trying to be original, you have to understand that you can't stop the other people with other learning, you know, needs. And the way that that works is you should have learned this in school by now. I'm pretty sure that they should teach you this shit in high school, that each people has another way of learning. Like, people are visual learners, people, you know, hear better, you know, seeing, doing types of shit like that. It's the same way when it comes to net decking as a source of learning. And your blatant ignorance for saying that that's bad, you're basically telling the guy, like, oh, fuck you, you know, you shouldn't be allowed to read that shit, you know, you should only listen to it, it's the only way you can learn. And, like I said, I, I don't understand it. Like, it's kind of interesting, though when you tie things into, you know, other real-life experiences such as that. Because I'm not going to lie, that person probably has a really shitty life if they're getting mad at other people for succeeding where they're not. Um, you know, most people in the world will probably get angry um, at people that are succeeding over them. Uh, jealousy is a bitch. 
I mean, it happens. You're like, oh, you know, fuck him, he net decked that, and, you know, top 16, you know, fuck him, I had my own original deck, you know, shit like that, and I didn't top, like, I mean, jealousy is, you know, an issue with a lot of people, and I feel a lot of people get very angry at people because they had success, because they feel that all the time that they put towards originality isn't, you know, blossomed into something, you know, gracious. Thing is, a lot of this generation feels that they should be handed a trophy just because they're participating. But in all actuality, that's not the case when it comes to prizes and things like that, especially in Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, it's bad enough sometimes at Top 48 get invites, especially, especially when some people try to count that as a top. Some guys like, I top 48 in my regional, I topped. Like, no, you got your invite. You didn't actually top the event. If you would have top aided, that's a different story. But, you know, I don't want to, you know, profile some guy's Cleefort deck if he, you know, got top 48. Like, you win X3 if you're lucky, if my math is correct there. X3 means you probably went what? Six and three does regional. I mean, yeah, that's cool, bro. But you know, it's not something that the community wants to see. Um, you know, that's it, just the trade-off. You know. So I don't know. I'm just very disappointed in people's blatant ignorance uh, for other people's learning abilities. Um, you know, the way that people feel that it is more appropriate for them to learn something. Other people, they'll build a deck from scratch, the original innovators. You know, they'll build it from scratch, and, you know, they'll crack the formula and move on along with their day. Other people need to have people tell them what to do. Other people need to see what other people are doing. Very, 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 very high school stuff that most of you should have learned, like I said. So, why was I making this video? Um, to be honest with you, I wanted to do something a little bit more truthful today. Um, I feel making this video might open up one or two people's eyes and make them understand why their ignorance is bad towards net decking. That net decking is something that is very, very, very important to this community because um, people are learning. And if you're taking away people's ability to gain knowledge, you're only hurting the base of the community, and you're also hurting yourself for looking like a pile of shit. No offense to anyone. By just being outright, you know, ignorant. So, I don't know. I'm not going to compare it to racism or anything like that. But in my opinion, it kind of is as bad. So, I don't know. That's just me. So, guys, could you leave your two cents down below? Um, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Not allowing people to gain knowledge search the internet for things like this, I consider it to be bad, um, and it's definitely just, it's it's not like we need people in the community that go this extreme with things like that, and I mean, there are very, very rare cases that I've just seen people, you know, just sell everything just because people at their locals are net decking. True story, actually. Had to happen to one of our guys a while back. Got mad at uh, me and another guy because we net decked Evil Swarm from Japan. We're like, hmm. Shit's good. Why not play it, you know? The guy ended up selling all of his shit at the next regional. Got super pissed. He's like, fucking goddamn net deckers in my locals. I fucking hate them all. Can't pull any fucking thing original here. And I'm just like, really, guy? Like, really? Like, why you gotta be this? Like, we wanna win. You know, it's kind of the point. You know, you go to locals, you go to get astral packs. Because astral packs are good shit. And then you're just sitting here getting super salty. I like, just play casually, don't even enter locals if you're going to have this attitude. It's not something that we need at the local shop, you know. It's not something that our local community needs. You know, you'd be laughing stock of the fucking internet if you actually engaged with people, you know. And it's just shit like this that still dumbfounds me because it's 2015, you know, shit like that. We're making progress in the world and we have ignorance such as this in the community. So guys, leave a comment down below. I mean, you guys think I probably said some really stupid shit in this video, but there's your disclaimer. All right, guys, I'm out.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.